Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 best Nintendo Switch games. For this list, we'll be looking at the must-buy Nintendo exclusives for anyone picking up a Switch. Did we miss any of your favorites? Let us know which game you can't get enough of in the comments down below. Number 20, Golf Story. Most players don't pick up a sports game for its story mode, but trust us, this one is the exception. Golf Story's narrative is a surprisingly thoughtful ride from start to finish, especially when presented through the game's charming art style. Of course, none of that would matter if the golfing weren't up to snuff. Thankfully, Golf Story has that covered too. The innovative blend of player expression and RPG mechanics makes for an engaging ride on the green each and every time. However, the most impressive part is that this was indie developer Sidebar Games' first ever home console release. To say they hit a hole in one would be putting it lightly. Number 19, Paper Mario the Origami King. This isn't the first time Mario and the others have been folded up, but based on how great this game is, fingers crossed it's not the last. The Origami King keeps the series iconic art style, throws out most of its RPG elements, and cranks up the adventure to new heights. Added emphasis on puzzle solving and strategic combat ensures that the Origami King never once feels repetitive. That's a good thing, considering half the fun is just walking around, uncovering secrets in the colorful overworld. The other half is reading the dialogue. Truly, this might be the single funniest Mario game ever made. Number 18, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Despite it being the series motto, this is the first game to really personify the phrase, gotta catch them all. Given the results, it's surprising they didn't do it sooner. Legends Arceus thrives upon the thrill of finding a new Pokemon in the wild. Though, the surprisingly in-depth story doesn't hurt either. All those elements go the extra mile in making the Pokemon world feel like a living, breathing place instead of just a vessel for battles. Don't worry, there's still plenty of turn-based goodness the series is known for. Plus. Anyone craving a slightly more traditional Pokemon experience can always pick up the Let's Go games too. There's really no going wrong either way. Number 17, Super Mario Maker 2. <laughs> It's not hyperbole to say you could play this game for thousands upon thousands of hours and still not see everything it has to offer. In fact, the only negative is trying to decide which to do first, playing the community created levels online or making your own. No matter what, there's a never ending flood of Mario content coming your way. The ingenuous gameplay loop appeals to beginners, pros, and every kind of player in between. Even without a Nintendo Online membership, there's enough single player content to make this a must have for any Switch owner. Super Mario Maker 2 is the game that never ends, and that's a very good thing. Number 16, Tetris 99. There is something hypnotically addictive about Tetris. It's simple, it's rewarding, and above all, it's fun. 
which is precisely why it was primed for the battle royale treatment. Now, puzzle games don't usually scream online multiplayer, but Tetris 99 cleverly makes fitting pieces together a nail-biting race. Whether it's fighting the clock or sabotaging your opponents, there's just enough competitive edge to make the formula feel fresh. And yet, it never overshadows the innate simplicity that made Tetris gaming staple for decades. There's so many reasons to pick this one up, but really, the biggest one is just to hear that classic theme song again. Number 15, Splatoon 2. Perhaps the most tragic thing about the Wii U is that it actually had several ambitious exclusives that not nearly enough people got to play. Even if you missed out on the original Splatoon, that shouldn't turn you off from its equally enjoyable follow-up. While Nintendo has often strayed away from shooters, both Splatoon games put a colorful spin on the genre, playing out like paintball on steroids. Between Hero Mode and the Octo Expansion DLC, Splatoon 2 offers a wild single player experience that's as fun as it is messy. Even after completing these solo campaigns, the game will keep you and friends coming back with its array of multiplayer modes. Both it and its sequel Splatoon 3 are everything the first game was and more. A splatterfest for all ages. Number 14, Snipper Clips Plus. Not to be outdone, both party mode and battle mode have new stages as well. At its core, the premise behind this puzzle solving game is deceptively straightforward. Players are tasked with solving various levels by cutting, or rather snipping, themselves into different shapes. It's a mechanic that's easy to understand, but difficult to master. And that tricky balance makes Snipper Clips Plus a distinctly rewarding experience. See, the puzzle isn't just figuring out what to do, but how to do it. Each level forces players to approach the snipping mechanic in a new, unique way. The fact it's built for co-op only adds to that. Even though Snipper Clips was a launch title on the Switch, it still reigns supreme as the console's de facto puzzle game. Number 13, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Apparently, Kirby's new Big Mouth mode did more than swallow up copy abilities. It also took in the very best of the series' decade spanning legacy. Forgotten Land is everything longtime players love about the franchise, with just enough evolution to keep things fresh. Somehow, Kirby feels right at home in full 3D. As a matter of fact, every single gameplay element feels better than ever. It's to the point that Forgotten Land is considered one of the, if not the greatest Kirby game ever made. Audience agree too. And as of 2023, Kirby and the Forgotten Land is currently the best selling game in the whole series. Those kinds of numbers speak for themselves. Number 12. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Ever since its debut on the Wii U, players have gone absolutely bananas for Tropical Freeze. And rightfully so. Now that it's been ported to the Switch, there's no excuse for missing out on one of the greatest platformers of the generation. The game sports some of the most diverse and creative level designs in the business. To say nothing of the actual gameplay, which strikes the perfect balance of challenging but worthwhile. Although, the soundtrack is so good that restarting a level feels more like a luxury than a chore anyways. 
Donkey Kongs come a long way from throwing barrels at Mario, that's for sure. Number 11, Luigi's Mansion 3. After a brief vacation on the 3DS, the Luigi's Mansion series finally made its grand return to home consoles in 2019. And ghost catching has never been so scarily good. The change in locale from mansion to a hotel burst the doors wide open for some spine tingling level designs. The game has no shortage of them either. There's a staggering 17 floors to explore, most of which come with their own unique theme or ghost catching gimmick. That's all without even mentioning its fantastic co-op or inventive multiplayer either. Luigi's Mansion 3 isn't a return to form. It's a glorified victory lap. The only question left is, Mario who? Huh? Number 10. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. In terms of bang for your buck, it's hard to compete with an open world RPG you can easily sink 100 plus hours into. Luckily, in Xenoblade Chronicles 3's case, each of those hours is better than the last. The real-time combat is more engaging than ever, which is saying something considering the original system was already pretty great to begin with. The improvements aren't just limited to gameplay, though. On the story side, the ambitious narrative seamlessly weaves in references from the past games while still forging its own identity. This is the rare sequel that doesn't just outdo its predecessor, it surpasses the high bar of its entire franchise altogether. I see. So we open a hatch near the Annihilator, ride the current, and we should come out right at the lake. Number 9, Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Oh, wow. The idea of rabbits looking Mario characters duking it out in tactical turn-based combat sounds like a bad fever dream. But against all odds, the original Kingdom Battle crossover was a delightful addition to the strategy genre. Like any good sequel, Sparks of Hope keeps what worked, jettisons what didn't, and adds a thick layer of polish on top. In this case, that meant blowing up the maps to allow even more in-depth chaos than ever before. Yes, that also means it's a bit unbalanced and easily cheesed. But that's all part of the fun. Mario plus Rabbits is undeniably insane, and it's all the better because of it. Number 8, Metroid Dread. A true side-scrolling sequel to Metroid Fusion had been considered for the better part of 20 years. But amazingly, Metroid Dread was well worth the wait. It's arguably the pinnacle of the franchise's 2D efforts, and one look at it in motion is enough to see why. You've got cool upgrades, stealth sections, puzzles, and more. That's a lot of high bars to meet, but Dread either matches or expands upon every single one. The game doesn't take many risks because it doesn't have to. The core of Metroid's gameplay is just that good. In terms of where this positioned the franchise, Dread left fans doing anything but. Number seven, Bayonetta 2. You always know how to make an entrance, John. A rare sight to see you in the city. Just had something I had to look into. This sequel has more style than it knows what to do with. Everything from the backgrounds to the idle animations brimmed with an artistic flair that's just plain nice to look at. 
let alone to actually play, Bayonetta 2 has one of the most fluid and freeform combat systems ever made, and the game smartly doesn't get in the way of that. If anything, the detailed graphics make laying waste to angels, demons, and monsters more satisfying than ever before. Ironically, this game wasn't even built for modern consoles. But rest assured, its legacy on the Wii U hasn't stopped the Bayonetta 2 port from becoming one of the Switch's best titles. Number 6. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Another game that had the disadvantage of being released on the Wii U, Mario Kart 8 was thankfully given a second life on the Switch. Rather than just being a simple port, however, Nintendo gave us the whole package with the original game's DLC tracks, plus several new racers like Splatoon's Inklings. The racing tracks are as slick as ever with the introduction of anti-gravity gameplay, not to mention vehicles that can drive underwater and glide through the sky. Deluxe also completely overhauls the game's battle mode with a wider variety of challenges. Although many continue to stand by Mario Kart 64 as the gold standard, we all need to accept that the torch has been passed to the series' latest installment. Number 5. Animal Crossing New Horizons At a time when the world needed a sense of community, New Horizons offered just that in one industry-shaking video game. But timing is just one part of its success. As the absolute apex of the franchise's efforts, it offers a ludicrous amount of player freedom inside of its obsessive gameplay loop. And yet, beyond all of that, New Horizons' best quality is that it feels blissfully simple. Its low-key vibe makes it the perfect escapism, whether it's to be for 10 minutes, 10 hours, 10 days, or beyond. New Horizons is Animal Crossing doing what Animal Crossing does best, and you can't ask for anything better than that. Number 4. Fire Emblem Three Houses There aren't many franchises that peak 30 years in. Fire Emblem almost didn't make it that long at all. But after narrowly escaping cancellation in the 3DS era, Three Houses single-handedly put the series back on top. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you where you stand. Yeah! Yeah! The marriage of tactical RPG battles and social sim sections is so novel, it's a wonder it hasn't been there all along. For the first time, you aren't just the army's general either, you're their teacher. That when paired with an expansive branching narrative makes every single fight feel important. All of Three Houses harmonious mechanics makes it one of the most fulfilling RPG experiences on the Switch, if not all time. Should I have held back? Number 3 Super Mario Odyssey <laughs> In recent years, we've gotten several Mario games in the spirit of its early side-scrolling days on the NES and Super NES. This vibrant title, though, draws inspiration from the free-roaming, open-world gameplay Nintendo revolutionized in Super Mario 64. Super Mario Odyssey feels like the next evolutionary step for the iconic plumber, taking him to a plethora of diverse lands with nearly 1,000 power moons to collect. <laughs> The greatest game innovation is Cappy, an anthropomorphic hat that allows Mario to take control of various creatures and items. Currently holding the record for the best-selling Switch game, Odyssey is more than worthy of its success. 
This is a loving celebration of everything Mario, reminding us why he is and will always be Nintendo's icon. <laughs> Number 2. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Although we've yet to come across a bad Super Smash Bros. game, it was starting to look like the crossover fighting franchise had officially peaked with Melee. That's all been called into question thanks to Ultimate. Whether or not this is the definitive Smash Bros, it's definitely the meatiest with every playable character from all previous installments and newcomers we've waited years to see join the fight. We'll each need to take down about 10. Stow your fear. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will. The fact that you begin the game with only eight characters give you the drive to keep playing until the whole lineup is assembled. What really distinguishes Ultimate, however, is this World of Life adventure mode which commences with a cutscene that makes Infinity War look like child's play. In short, this is Nintendo at its most epic. Victory! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild It's practically a cliché to rank a Zelda game number one on any Nintendo-related list. Breath of the Wild is not only the Switch's best offering so far, it's also likely one of the best games of all time. Taking a non-linear approach to the established Zelda formula, Breath of the Wild allows players to travel through the gorgeously rendered kingdom of Hyrule however they choose. While the franchise has always put an emphasis on adventure, this game truly makes you feel like an explorer as you voyage from one lively environment to another, uncertain what awaits next. As a launch title, Breath of the Wild demonstrated what the Switch was capable of, giving players the power to hold an open world in their hands. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.